Hi guys, it's Nancy, and today I wanted to do a quick video on making your own glitter ornaments. So, ornaments are nice because there are some people that just have everything and you don't know what to get for them, and you can make your own ornaments, and it's nice because it's nostalgic and you can customize them any way you want. So, for guys, you can put their favorite sports teams. Um, for families that just got married, you can put their last name and date they got married. You can put mm -hmm. baby's first Christmas. So there are just a lot of things that you can do to customize an ornament, which is why I like to make them and give them out as gifts. So what I'm using today is a four pack of these plastic ornaments. And I got these at Michael's. They were originally $10. Michael's had them on sale. I think they were 50 or 60% off, so that's not bad. And they are flat because I find it's easier to put the emblem on there, and they are plastic. So if you have children, um, this is a really easy way to get them involved without having to worry about anything getting broken. And what we're going to do is the we're going to first coat the inside, and what I'm using is Minwax Polycrylic. Um, this is the clear gloss kind. This is a small can, eight ounces, and a very little goes a long way. This, I believe I got at Walmart for somewhere under $10 for the small. You don't need a big five-gallon jar or anything like that. And then I took all of the tops and just pulled those out. They're spring-loaded off of the ornaments. And I made my own little drying rack here. So I took... You guys can see this is just a soda can box, a case, I guess. And I just cut holes out the top with an X-Acto knife and made sure that the ornaments fit in there. And then the inside, I don't know if you can see in there, is lined with um, paper towels, just folded paper towels. So this first ornament I've already done. And all you're going to do is you're going to get some kind of a squirt bottle. Now I'm going to show you guys what I used. Don't judge me. But I grabbed this out of the trash. It's an old drink bottle that my daughter had. I wrote on here, glue, do not drink. I put Eva El evil Elsa face on here. So I explained to my children, this is glue. It's in my craft room. They are not to drink out of it. They do know better. Um, but I poured some of the polycrylic in here. And the reason I did that is you can see it has a little squirt nozzle at the top. Now you can buy squirt nozzles. You can reuse stuff out of the garbage, whatever you want to do there. But that's all I did poured some of that polycrylic in there and then you put some in the ornament you just put it in there and then all you do is kind of swirl it so you're gonna pour a little bit at a time and kind of swirl it like maybe a tablespoon and swirl it swirl it swirl it swirl it till it gets to the end once it's to the end and your whole ornament is coated you're going to put the ornament upside down in here to drip dry now it will dry. These were done about 15 minutes ago. Going out here. And you can see it's still a little hazy here. So it's not completely dry yet. Um, but this one's close enough that we can start glittering it. I'll show you that one. If it is still dripping, if you still see that it is hazy, like this one here, you can see the drips on the inside there. This is not ready yet. If you put glitter in this, See, it's still moving. If you put glitter in this, then the polycrylic will still continue to move while the glitter is on it, and it will detach from the sides of the ornament. So you wanna make sure that it is pretty fully dry, which like I said, doesn't take long, maybe about 20 minutes to half an hour. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put glitter in it. Sounds pretty simple. However, what I found is the best glitter that works is the cheapest glitter you can get. So here we have Recollections brand. It's a very fine, extra fine glitter. Um, I just used this Nouveau Pure Sheen glitter. I believe this is called Mirrorball. Yeah, Mirrorball. This looks gorgeous. You have Martha Stewart glitter you can put in there. The glitter that does not work is the very heavy, chunky glitter. I did this one last year and you can see it's very heavy, chunky glitter. It looks gorgeous. However, it's too heavy. So what happens is eventually once it dries, it starts to flake off the inside of the ornament and you have bald spots in your ornament. So stay away from chunky glitter. You wanna stay with extra fine glitter. 
So I'm just going to do a simple one here. And you want to keep handy paper towels or I like to use coffee filters because they're easy. Now, you're probably not going to recycle this glitter for any other craft related items because sometimes it does kind of flake off in chunks. Now, this is not completely dry on the inside here, so I'm just going to wipe that quick. And don't worry about the neck of the ornament because that's going to be covered up anyhow. All right, so I just kind of wipe that neck off a little bit and you're just gonna again put a little bit in there at a time you don't want too much and all you're going to do is shake and roll same way you did the polyacrylic just kind of putting it in there and rolling it I like to do one side and then the other side so I can see through the ornament some people like to do the bottom and roll their way up, but if you do that, you can't see where there are bald spots. And I can see there's a bald spot right here. So I like to do one side at a time and a little bit of glitter at a time. You don't want too much in there because then you're wasting the glitter because once you've used this glitter, like I said, you really don't want to recycle it because it has that polyacrylic kind of stuck to it. So anyway, you guys can see what we're doing here. So we're just going to do the one side and then we're going to put more glitter in there. We're going to do the other side, shake it around and try to get as close to the neck as we can get. You can do the neck if you want to. You don't have to because like I said, you're not going to see it. Once you put the cap back on and put a ribbon around it, you're not going to see it. But um, I would do a little more glitter in there to cover that up. Then what you're going to do is put it back on your little drying rack there. And you can see this is the one I did with the Nouveau Mirror Ball glitter, and it looks pretty good. I do see a small bald spot there, which I'll probably sprinkle a little more glitter in there to cover it. But for the most part, it's even coverage. Now, I've heard people say that they've also used uh, Floor Shine product. Um, what I understand is the Floor Shine product will yellow over time, and if you store your it's like floor wax or something like that. If you store your ornaments where it's not temperature controlled, like in the attic or in the basement, that product will eventually peel off. So again, you'll end up with bald spots. So either melt or um, just the temperature change will call, cause it to melt. And it's, it's floor wax, so it's not designed to be permanent. So that's why I like using the polyacrylic because it is designed to seal. It's, it's, you know, it's designed to, to hold everything in. And then once that's all done, you can at that point decorate. And all I did was I cut off some snowflakes here from my Cameo Silhouette in some Oracle 651 permanent vinyl. And of course now it doesn't want to go onto the transfer sheet. Let's see here, some intricate designs here. course it works when you're not filming and then as soon as they're filming it just sticks everywhere all right there we go and the reason I like using the flat ornaments is because it makes it easier when you are applying these kinds of elements and I want to try to line this up as center as I can start from the middle and push my way out so that I don't have creases or bubbles in it. And you can use a burnishing tool and burnish that down if you have something. I'm just going to use my fingers right now. And like I said, you can customize this. You can put people's names on it. I mean, you can use stickers. You don't have to have a silhouette machine. Um, you can take your children's handprints and use acrylic paint and print over it. Now there's a couple bubbles here, but they'll smooth out once I work it out. But there you can see, guys, there's a nice ornament. And then on the back side, I can probably, you know, put the year 2016, whatever it is. But then at that point, I'd pop the top back on. I'm not going to do it now because this glitter isn't done drying. And you can see, because I didn't do the neck, that that's still showing. Well, there's a simple solution to that. We would tie a ribbon around here and make a bow. And then, and some people glue the tops on. That's personal preference if you want to do that or not. 
take another ribbon tie it to the top so you have an ornament to hang off of and there you go guys simple make it yourself glitter ornaments i hope that you enjoy this tutorial and try to make your own personalized ornaments have a thanksgiving guys and keep on stamping